All right, guys, this is a test. We're getting ready to get started. Sorry a few minutes late. We're in Augusta, Georgia. Let me uh, move this up a little bit more. If you guys can't hear, send a message. I'll try to do the best I can to read it. Uh, I think we can squeeze those cutting boards together. Sorry, we're running a few minutes late. Hope everybody's got their ingredients who decide to participate. All right, just to let you know what we're doing, I'm Chef Tarantino, and this is Cooking with Chef Tarantino via Facebook Live. Um, every week we do this. We have a special guest um, that usually joins us. Uh, hopefully we'll have another one for you next week. Um, what we're doing is we're doing this cooking, doing this cooking lessons uh, live for you on Facebook instead of using the platform Patron and everything and charging everybody due to what's going on with this coronavirus. So we've been doing it for the past couple of weeks, and it's been successful. We've had a lot of fun with it. And... Um, Right now we're in Augusta, Georgia, at Breaks for Less uh, here, and I'm here with Tilt, um, and I'll tell you a little bit about him in just a few minutes, but we're going to be making shrimp and vodka a la penne. Um, so if you're from Augusta and you're in the Augusta area, please give these guys uh, a shot at Breaks for Less. They're awesome. I'm going to introduce you to one of their managers and let them talk a little bit about their business. But um, as far as on the page, as far as supporting cooking with Chef Tarantino, we are mobile. We go everywhere. If you would like to cook on the show with me, um, or you'd like me to come to you, all you have to do is send me a private message and I'll let you know how that's done. Also, if you are a business and you would like to have your business advertised with me and collaborate a little bit, get in contact with me via private message and we'll, uh, we'll get together and we'll work all that out so we can uh, you know, share your product with everybody. You don't have to be a business. It could be something that you're working on independently, whatever it is. The more independent, the better. I love it, obviously, because that's what I am. I'm an independent uh, entrepreneur. And uh, as you know, I've been working at this for quite some time, and things are working out. I'm doing what I love. So if there's something that you love to do and you'd like to get it out there, get in contact with me, and we'll share it. Um, also, to support Tarantino's uh, Cooking with Chef Tarantino, on the Square app that's on there, if you click on Shop Now, there's a, a spot that's called Items. And you can put whatever dollar amount that you want to help us with the show, which is the setup, the travel cost to whichever location that we're going to, the food cost, um, we don't expect everybody to uh, donate. If you want to support the show, fantastic. I got something for you with that though. What we're gonna do is, anybody that uh, uh, supports the show and gets any dollar amount, what we're gonna do is do a 50-50. So next Saturday, whatever money we raise from today to next Saturday, we're gonna do a 50-50 live on next Saturday at four o'clock and we'll draw the names out of the hat of the people that donated and you will get 50% of whatever we brought in to give to your favorite charity or whoever it is that um, that you would like to help. And then on our end, it's going to go towards the cost of the show and then go towards supporting other uh, things going on in my local area, which most of you know that are locally who are watching. We do a lot of stuff for the community and um, we love to give back and that'll help us and we'll use this show to uh, help other people um, while we're going through all this. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to bring Till. Till, what are you doing? I don't have no corona. <laughs> What's up, man? What's going on? Till, oh, a little windy. Yeah, Till, yeah, yeah, yeah. open yeah, for yeah. Nelly and Elma, and I met him um, at the Nelly concert, cooking for Nelly, Petey Pablo, and all that stuff. And um, That's right. how did, didn't I come up to you and like start rapping to you or something like that? Yeah, you did. You LL Cool J. <laughs> <laughs> and we hit it off, and because of him, we started the show process cooking with Chef Tarantino and had the first episode done with uh, Craig Campbell and Lance Stinson. Um, so when he invited me to do his music video with him, that opened up some more doors for me. And I'm um, super grateful for Till. So Appreciate tell me a little bit about yourself. How are they going to hear you with that thing on? <laughs> What's happening, man? What's going on? Y'all know it's your boy Till, summer orchard artist. Uh, actually here live in Augusta, my hometown. Uh, a little bit about me. Uh, man, y'all can Google me, follow me at Till Williams on Instagram, Twitter, all the above. But um, I'm here today uh, cooking with uh, Chef Joe Tarantino, as y'all can see. I'm live. Uh, we actually here at Breaks for Less, you know, one of my sponsors. So we here, man. I'm uh, finna get it in and make it do what it do, man. So y'all tune in. It's gonna be a great show. All right, Till, great. You wanna come say something about Breaks for Less? Yeah, come on over. Come on over here, man. Get that oil off your eye. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you know I'm messing with you. Now, listen, this hey, is hey, all live, so when mistakes happen, there's nothing I can do about it. This is a Hey, Austin, what are you doing? You're going to watch how to make that vodka sauce. I might have to leave an ingredient out. 
Hey, um, Angie. How y'all doing? If you guys can't hear or there's anything, let me know. I'm going to try to read these. So if you have any questions for anybody, please feel free to ask, and I'll do the best I can to answer them. All right, sir, your name? My name's Brandon. I'm the store manager down here on Peach Orchard Road. Uh, I came from Kentucky. I worked out there nine and a half years. Uh, I've come up here to run the store and try to change the business of Augusta. You know, come in with a break business that's not only fair, uh, cheaper than everyone else, but also perfect at the same time. So. Uh, it's been it's been a long journey for me. I spent nine years in the shop. I mean, I'm out there working just as much as they are. So nice. Where are we Where are we at right now? This we, is my first time here. We are at 3015 Peach Orchard Road. Uh, it's been we've been open since September of last year. You know, we've been we've been working really hard to get our name out there. Nice. And it takes one step at a time. You know what I mean? So very good. And price is comparable. Yeah, prices are good. You know, I'm very honest. You know, you can ask any of my customers. I've got a 4.9 Google rating for a reason. Outstanding. I'll read my Google ratings. You know. I got one of the best customer service ratings in the company, so I take pride in that. I said I've been doing this 11 years, man. And it's it's been an, it's been a struggle, you know, because when you're working out the shop all day, you know, the first first time you do 60 hours, it's it's tough. But you know, I love what I do, so awesome. And it man. definitely translates to my work. So. Well, I'm glad you uh, allowed us to come out here and uh, work with you a little hey, bit. Absolutely, so. man. And uh, yeah, I, man. I appreciate it as well. You know, hey, it goes people, both man, ways. I'm always up here with him, so. so. Yeah, he, I see him all. All right, Augusta, so. you know where to go. Breaks for less. What's the address? 3015 Peach Orchard Road. 3015 Peach Orchard Road. Support these guys. They're doing a fantastic job. So if you're in this area, please stop by and see them. All right. All right. Well, thanks, brother. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. Okay. All right. Let's move this back and get ready to start cooking this food. And hopefully this wind doesn't blow over. Can we see both? Uh, move this back a little bit more. Bear with us, guys. Can we get both saute ovens in there? Yep, okay. <laughs> We're gonna move these just a little bit closer together. The no, just these a little oh, closer so everybody can see. Okay. I believe we can see. Okay, great. That ain't gonna hurt you, man. All right, everybody. We're gonna do shrimp and uh, vodka a la penne is what I said. Um, I was in a rush. I had to go to Statesboro, then Savannah, and now I'm in Augusta to uh, get some stuff to do this. I had to get some equipment. But, um, so I'm using spaghetti. You go ahead and use that penne that you had. As I said earlier, um, during the week, make sure you cook off your pasta so it's ready to go. Um, so anyway, we got some nice 1620 shrimp. Let me show you these shrimp. Look at those shrimp. That's, what we're, that's the shrimp. That's shrimp. Yeah, that's shrimp. Nice. Dang, you spill up. Oh, man, pour it down. No, 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 no. Six, oh, this is the size of the 1620 shrimp. You can see that. That's what we're going to be sauteing up. If they're frozen, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Actually, when it's frozen, when you throw it in the saute pan, um, the juice as it's sauteing and the oil and the garlic and everything is actually deglazing the pan while you're cooking it. And so you're adding that much more flavor to your uh, Alfredo sauce, vodka sauce, whichever sauce that uh, you're working with. So that's that. That's right. That's right. All right. So let's start off here. We're going to chop up some, uh, some garlic. Got to have the fresh garlic. Hopefully you don't have that chopped stuff at the jar. All right, so the garlic. You don't want to cut it like this. Chop. Chop. Real thin. Don't cut your fingers. Real, real thin. Real thin. Then you can dice it up a little bit. One clove is sufficient. I don't know why I brought so much. I love garlic. <laughs> So we're done with the garlic. All right, so the ingredients we have here, we have some sliced mushrooms. I already sliced them up. You have your uh, black olives. I like the whole better, but this is what I had at the restaurant. I use a lot of these on the pizzas uh, in Statesboro. We have uh, green bell pepper. I already chopped that up. Some red sauce. Remember, I was telling you to get your red sauce, whether it be some sort of jar sauce or if you have your own ready, even better. We've got the Parmesan Romano cheese. We've got some onion. And then I said to get some spicy peppers. These are Italian cherry peppers. I absolutely love them. Um, this gives a lot of flavor to the dish, but if you don't have that, you can use a jalapeno. Remember, it's not a spicy dish we're making. This is just to add just a little bit more flavor. We have a little bit of salt and pepper mix here and a little bit of crushed pepper. Very simple ingredient. All right, your garlic chopped up real good. All right, so now we're gonna add some olive oil to the pan, about a tablespoon and a half. You want to make sure you coat the bottom of the pan. I'll do yours. Beautiful. All right, you should have seen his video. He tried to steal my ID. He said, forget singing. I'm going to start doing a cooking show. 
go check out his page. <laughs> oh, I'm shit. like, what the heck is he doing? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, they did a good job, too. All right, so now we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper without the wind blowing it. Add a little bit of salt and pepper to yours. About a t half a teaspoon. And then you can also taste as you're going through to make sure, you know, you have the flavor that you're looking for. So where's everybody from? Post on there where you guys are from. All right, so now we get that. Now we're gonna add a little bit of mushroom. Chop it. I already got it in there. I like a lot of mushroom. Here, this some for you. A little bit of black olive. A little bit of bell pepper. Some onion, you can put whatever you want in there. Cherry pepper. I like a little spice, so I'm gonna add some crushed red. And actually, uh, Austin Corbett, you might wanna <laughs> you might wanna add some jalapeno to yours, a little <laughs> bit more crushed pepper. I know how you like your stuff. Austin Corbett, who's watching right now, when we were in Reedsville, he came with about nine of his friends that used dined with us all the time. And the, I don't know for those of you who haven't been to my restaurant in Reedsville, it's a tiny porch, basically. And they came in a party of 10 and ordered 10 rattlesnake pastas while they were sitting outside dining and blew up the whole restaurant. People had to leave because you couldn't even breathe and it was so uh, spicy. Everybody was crying in tears. All right, so we got everything going. Now we want to put six shrimp. You can put as many shrimp as you want, but you only need six of these. <laughs> well, here, I, I owe you some shrimp. One, two, three, four, five. Trying to cheat me, uh. I did. <laughs> Three, four, five, one more. I'm a chef. I'm not a mathematician. <laughs> all right, so we got all our ingredients in there. Now we're gonna start sauteing. That show good. Yep. Flip that sucker on. She click. No. Yep, it's on. All right, so we're gonna let that heat up. All right, so what got you started in the music business? Oh man, I've been doing it since uh, fresh out of high school, man, back in uh, 06. Uh, moved to Atlanta, started pursuing a career, doing open mic night every night, different clubs in Atlanta. Uh, my first spot was a uh, TI club in, uh, in Atlanta, in the Bankhead, a uh, club cruise. Uh, just been, um, started, I was in a group, and uh, you know, I was in a group probably like three or four years. Uh, then went solo. Ever since then, I've been on my own. And, so on, so far, 2019, I got my fifth break, signed a deal with Sony Orchard. So I've been on the road with a lot of artists, big artists, Nelly, Money Bad, Rich Homie Kwan, Mystical, uh, Fable, a whole lot of people, man. So, so on and so far, man, i just been pursuing yes. the career, pursuing the dreams, making it do what it do. Lauren Marie's on there. You remember Lauren Marie from Lauren the Nelly Marie, how you doing, sweetie? What's going on? That's awesome, Till. Now, didn't I see on one of your... Uh, was it one of your uh, interviews on the news there on yeah, Fox yeah, yeah. that uh, I was on um, Fox 54 You come news. from a family of musicians? Yes, I did. Uh, Tell us a little bit about that. Also, my, uh, y'all remember my uncle back in the days, uh, 12 Gauge. Um, they had the Donkey Butt song. Um, also, my cousin, Urban Mystic, out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. With the hit single, I Refuse, in the morning, where were you? So, man, just so on so far, man. Making it do what it do, Chad. Make it do what it do, Chad. Hey, Tavar. Go. Come here, man. Come here, man. <laughs> hey, I gotta get you some tongs. You, you ain't put the Tito in there. No, not yet. You gotta get everything sauteed first. Once you put that vodka in there, it's gonna be. Yeah. All right, guys, so we got some wind blowing, so that's why it's taking a little bit longer normally. Uh, on your stoves at home, this should be already... Um, yeah, it's lit. See it bubbling? Yeah. It'll cook a lot faster than that. But because it's very windy out here, it's blowing the flames, so it's not getting to the tank that we'd like it to be, so it's taking just a little bit longer. 
So anyway, we're, we're pretty excited about doing that 50-50 thing. So whatever name we draw out, we're going to get 50% of that uh, of what we make uh, to you guys. And uh, like I said before, if anybody's interested, I don't care what state it is. I'll go anywhere you guys want. I'll uh, cook with you. I don't care if it's Florida. I don't care if it's California. I'd like to go to California. So if you want me to cook in California, I'd definitely do it. I just might have to close up shop for a few days. Uh, I the ship all the way up. <laughs> Flip those so they're on the bottom. <laughs> I like how you're doing that. Yeah, man. You know how you get good at doing the flip? Uh, you gotta do eggs. If you ever wanna get, be able to toss the pan and flip your ingredient without spilling it, get an egg in a uh, a non-stick pan and keep trying to flip the egg till it doesn't break. And once you figure out how to do that, you can flip anything in a pan. You can flip a dozen eggs in a pan. How are you doing, Charles Chapman? I saw you on there. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Tomorrow, man, this day, where you Make at? sure I'm not missing any comments here. Just serve food. I am serving food. What's the matter with you? It's my day off. I'm doing what I love to do. Forget about it. There, Mr. Mendez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, This is the shrimp and vodka. Uh, like I said, I'm using uh, spaghetti instead of the uh, instead of the penne. I like it better with penne, but I didn't have time to get that because I had a lot of driving to do this morning. You didn't cook this last time. I cooked it for you. Yeah, I know. You're right? making your own now. So when you start uh, going on tour, well, you gotta wait till all this is over with. Never mind. Yeah, man, we on a coronavirus crisis right now. <laughs> I'm trying to wait till this pass over, man. I got a tour lined it up. I will be hitting uh, Cincinnati, Nova, Delaware, St. Louis, uh, New York. Um, just so on so far, man. Also San Francisco. Just want to get the clear and okay, man. We don't want nobody sick. Yeah. You know, I gotta make sure everybody good. So it brings us to another point. Um, with your uh, how do people get in touch if they want to send you some money? How do they do that? Oh, cash out, um, tilt, dollar sign, tilt, t, dollar sign, T-I-L-T, T-I-L-T-1. Y'all also can cash out me on there. Y'all can uh, inbox me on Facebook at Tilt Williams. Also Instagram, tilt underscore, tilt one. And um, so on and so far, man. So that'd be great. Remember, guys, our artists uh, can't perform uh, right now, so any help you can give them would be fantastic. He just told you how to find himself, uh, where you can find him to help him out. And then uh, hopefully when all this is over with, hopefully very quickly, we can uh, start going to performances again. And these guys can start making money. These guys and girls like Lauren Marie, Craig Campbell, Lance Stitz, and all those people we love. Um, it really stinks for those guys when their job is to perform and they can't right now. So. All right, we're almost ready to add the vodka. Shrimp's looking pretty good. Like I said, this is taking prop. This would take half the time if there was no wind. All right. Now remember, it's for the pan. You don't show it up. And I told you, you don't have to use uh, Tito's. I just have I have an abundance of this stuff. Um, so what you can do is just get the Barton or Mr. Barton. That just is make it a mess. Get your vodka in there. About a shot and a half. Um, yeah, because I got a light it wasn't. <laughs> What's going on, man? What's going on is the box is not lit. There it goes. It's lit. You just can't see it because of the wind. How you doing? So we'll let that reduce down for a second, then we're gonna add some red sauce. See, it's lit. It's just hard to see. Okay. See the flames coming out? It's not cooking, bro. You want to hit it, you want to hit it. <laughs> right, then we're going to add, I'd say, about two ounces, two liquid ounces of red sauce. This is uh, actually my pizza sauce. Let that cook down a little bit. And what this does is also, obviously, it gives it more flavor. But it's also going to make that sauce look pink once we add the heavy cream uh, to it. Uh, 
The wind is driving me crazy over here. <laughs> there you go. Try to let that reduce down a little bit. Um, I'd like to thank Daniel Chevrolet uh, from Swainsboro. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah, Very awesome. Right. Richard, Richard and everybody that works down there are fantastic people. They've been a great supporter. Um, the aprons that uh, I have, Stitch uh, and Print has made them for us. They did that complimentary to help us with the show and everything. So Stitch, uh, Stitch and Print in uh, Twin City. Thank you to those guys. And thank you to all our uh, supporters around Statesboro, Toombs County, um, everywhere. Toombs County, where else? Emanuel County. Um, I don't know all the counties. I'm not for Georgia. I'm sorry, but I love each and every one. Yeah. And you're gonna want to use about a cup, exactly a cup of heavy cream, without it spilling on the ground. See, it's gonna have that pink color, and I'll grab the phone in a second and show you. Put our pasta in there. trash can with us. That's pretty much it um, as far as setting up this pan. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to let it reduce, let it get to the thickness that you like, obviously when we put the cheese in, but I'm going to let the pasta heat up a little bit, get that nice and hot, and then I'll add the cheese in and then let it get to the thickness that I like. Let me check the phone. Chow's up, good job. Thickness. Well, good to see you, Charles. Thank you for joining in. Hey, also, if any of you know, I'm not a technician. I'm a, a, a video expert or anything like that. How do I get to have a monitor here so I can see when you guys are coming on? Because I want to make this interactive where we can all communicate and have some fun. Especially since we have to have this uh, stupid social distancing uh, thing going on all the time. So this way we can have a little bit more fun. Because I want to do a pizza making party with kids and stuff. But I want to be able to see. Um, and I'm not quite sure how to do that. So if any of you know how to do that, please let me know. And I'm also looking for... A volunteer, someone to start working with me and traveling with me every Saturday to all these different locations, help me set up because some people can't get here on time um, <laughs> to help set up, but to help me set up and do the camera work and stuff like that. So, any of you interested in doing that, please private message me. Um, it would be awesome. I'll have a great time. Get to meet a lot of people, different businesses. Just gotta let that reduce. I'm gonna add my cheese in it now. You could do about, you could do a quarter cup of cheese. I like to use a cup because I love cheese, obviously. Throw this away. Cheese, man. Oh my god, I can't use enough cheese. And then I'll put another cup on top of it when it's done. Right. Normally, I don't cook crushed red pepper in the uh, the vodka chicken. I do this with chicken also. It's on our Statesboro menu. So if anybody likes this um, that's in the area locally that can get to me, if you go to the Shot Now button, you can also see that on there. We're doing scampi now. We're doing uh, shrimp alfredo, uh, a chicken shrimp alfredo, which is shrimp instead of chicken in the rattlesnake sauce. And thank you to all of you who have uh, made that dish super popular. That dish is number one. It's been number one for five years now. We sell more of that than anything else on the menu. And that one, uh, the uh, rattlesnake pasta recipe is going to be in my cookbook when it's released. I've got about 12 more recipes to put in there and then that'll be done. And rattlesnake pasta will be the last recipe in that cookbook. Someone said something. Yeah, somebody help me get figure out how to get it to where I can read these comments. about done. Now we need to taste this. Let me get a spoon. Oh, and guys, too, don't forget, when you're doing these, another reason why we're teaching you how to do this stuff, 
is um, set up a, a, a dining area in your house. Um, I mean, I know we're able to start going up, but there's still really not much uh, out there for restaurants, so you feel comfortable. You could still take yourself out of your element at home um, and set up a beautiful dining area with flowers, rose petals. I mean, even if it's for your family, not your significant other, dress up, make it make it something fun and unique. Set up the dinner plate, do the salads, the bread, the appetizer, and then have a, have everything served at the table and make it like you're out eating at a restaurant. I'm telling you, it works, it's fantastic. I've done it with my family and we had a blast. And that's what gave me the idea because we took us, ourselves, out of the, uh, out of the element. Yeah, I got a little too much sauce in mine. Yours is done, let me use your stove. <laughs> Yeah, that's way done. I'm not even paying attention to you. I just wanted to see Tip always come out on top. Then you... <laughs> Tip always come out on top. How y'all still working better, yeah, man? Yeah, you're still high. You're like, it's way up. Yeah, but it still wasn't working. I think I got more wind on my. See, it's bubbling already. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to clean the edge of your plate. Y'all better donate, you want to see me rap. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know what? You ought to give it a flavor. What's the lemon for? The lemon? Because we're going to garnish that with lemon. I didn't get the parsley, but um, I got a piece of lemon because we're dealing with seafood. You always want to have seafood. Make sure you take your stickers off. You're going to cut a nice thin piece. About that thick. Okay? Cut one like that off. And then you're going to slit the lemon the top so you can fold it like that and put it on the center of your, center of your dish. You see what I did? I'm going to take a slice. I'm going to slice it right down like that. Don't slice it in half. Under the white. Yep. And then you're going to twist and fold like that and that put that on the center of your dish. Right here? Yep. Right there? No, no, no. It's the center. Oh, the center. No, the center. There you go. Beautiful. <laughs> Butter bake. Now if we had some pasta, it would be even better. <laughs> Let me show you guys what he did here. Mine's sticking it up. I added a little too much because it wasn't reducing fast enough because I'm I had a I don't know the wind. I came out on top. But anyway, this is Tilt's dish. He did a nice job. Tilt did an excellent job. This mine is finally starting to reduce. I had a little bit too much there. Um, that's why you see so much uh sauce in there. Can you see everybody here? Okay, good. I'm going to get that right now. Yeah, what's happening, y'all? What's good? What's good? You got me over here working. I got my sister out here, too. I'm going to chase it, too. Soupy. <laughs> little extra sauce. How's the flavor? I got way too much sauce in mine. Plate it. And I can put a little extra cheese on there. Is he good? He says, guys, you still here, the boss? Tell the boss to come over here. and vodka, um, a la penne, a la pasta, whatever kind of pasta you want to use, you can change if you want. 
I had a little bit too much. I didn't let my uh, the mistake that I had made on here. The reason why I have so much sauce is because once I put the vodka in and then I put the sauce in, it didn't reduce fast enough because the heat wasn't high enough on the stove with everything blowing in the wind and all that. But it looks like it still came out fantastic. Is he coming? Tell them again how they can find you. Y'all can find me on Facebook, Tilt Williams. I'm on Instagram, Tilt underscore Tilt One. I'm on um, Twitter, Google Me, YouTube, Tilt Williams. So, cash App, dollar sign, Tilt, Tilt One. Shout out to Joe Tarantino. Hey, man, come on, get something. Well, guys, you guys have man. any questions, let me get the phone. Man, I haven't decided what we're doing like next week. Um, I'll have that figured out by you got, Monday, you but if you have... right here. Oh, you let him try this dish. That's your dish. Try it. Uh, you got the shrimp and all. What is it? What is it? That's shrimp and vodka. Shrimp and vodka. He <laughs> <laughs> already looked like that. Yeah, shrimp and vodka. That's all right. Yeah, good, anyway, if you have any questions um, or any suggestions, man, this wind is crazy. Um, any suggestions, please let me know. Um, if anything that you'd like to see, I'd be glad to uh, cook it for you. And again, if you'd like me to come to your place uh, to do this live feed at your place or at your business, just private message me. I'd be glad to do it. Um, thank you so much for the opportunity. We were going to have them do a song, but obviously we can't do that right at the location that we're at now. I do have a speaker, but we didn't have a microphone. But um, you can check him out. Those of you that went to the Nelly concert in Alma last year, um, he was one of the Opers and he did a fantastic job. So if you can help this gentleman out, that'd be fantastic. Um, special thank you to uh, Breaks for Less also for uh, allowing us to uh, cook with you out here. And we're looking forward to our next assignment next week. Um, until, what's the next song they got to look forward to? What's, your, what's the number one song that you love? Body Language. Y'all stay tuned for Body Language featuring uh, Urban Mystic. Uh, that's to be the next uh, single out right now. Also, Flawless, y'all stay tuned for the video. The video will be released next month. So y'all stay tuned. It will be on Vivo, MTV, BET. Are you serious? Yes. Guess who the chef is in that music video? <laughs> Thanks to this young man right here. It's really coming out next month? Oh, I can't wait. That's going to be some fun. Wait till you see this. It's pretty cool. And he did a fantastic job. I got you, brother. I got you. So what's, uh, what, what inspired you to do the other song, the one before Floss you're talking about? What's the one you want to do? Body language. Uh, man, I'm just sitting at home. Just came up with a concept. Uh, I sent the uh, the uh, song, the beat to my cousin, Urban Mystic, by the way. And I just told him Make to sure these guys can hear you. And so, you know, he put his feel on to it. And we just vibe off each other, you know, with the music. So it came out perfect, man. Everybody like it. All the women love it. It's a song for the women. So I will be doing a casting call from Augusta, or well, Georgia area, and uh, Miami area. We will be, we'll be shooting a uh, video down in Miami, Florida. So y'all stay tuned. I'm William. Don't do on the casting call. Looking for all the baddest women, the pretty type women. Joe can't stop eating, y'all. Y'all see that. That's why I hope you keep good talking food, so I can eat. <laughs> Oh, chef. Chef always likes to eat. Like I mean, did you shut that off? Wasting my gas. No worries. We'll put some more in there. But uh, y'all stay tuned, man. It's definitely uh, it's gonna be an epidemic, man. Just wait till this, uh, this coronavirus crisis is over, man. You know. Yeah, it's hard so, on everybody. It's hard ain't no telling what what artists you might see or what celebrity you might see Nelly. You might see uh, Ti. You know, a lot of artists. Money bad, rich homie, all in the video. But y'all stay tuned. It's gonna be another epidemic. Thanks, my man. I appreciate right. you. Appreciate you. Cooking with me. He really wanted lobster. There was no way in the world to do lobster. He's like, Joe, please get the lobster. I said, absolutely yeah. not. We can't do it. We th I thought about it, but there was no way, especially the size of lobster he wanted to do. We have to be indoors for that and in the actual restaurant to do something like that. But um, I will get back to you guys Monday. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for supporting us. Uh, Thank you for man. watching. Talk to him um, we'll talk to him some more. Yeah. Any questions y'all want to ask him? I'm down for all the questions. Y'all can ask me whatever y'all want to ask What's me. What's up, Brooks? You know Brooks? Brooks is on yeah. there. Hey, Brooks. How you doing? Oh, my DJ. What's going on, Brooks?
got the, I got the contract waiting on you too, man. So you're gonna be my official DJ, by the way. And the questions y'all wanna ask me, I'm in I'm open arms. Alright, Mr. Tarantino, I'm gonna get out of here. Alright, brother, thank you. I got an so hour much. drive home. Hey, I appreciate y'all coming out. I, I, I got two uh, hours back myself. Yeah, I come from Columbia every day, so you know it's a it's a drive, but I love what I do. That's what's well, fantastic. You have to stop and see me one day. Where, where, at the restaurant. Where's I'm in where's States, States Bar right now. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll have to do that. You uh, ever get a free day, which I know it's tough for business, uh, but you get a free day, let me know. I will. Uh, and uh, what are you over there? Like Monday through Friday Monday from 12 Friday. to 8. Oh, or you oh, call oh. me if you come out, I'll do something special for you if you guys, you know, oh. letting us set up here. So that was great. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely do that. You know, y'all are locals, so, you know, I'm always about getting in the local. Trying to get awesome. Same, local here. People, so. Same here. Same here. Absolutely. Oh. I want to hold on to your uh, the tent. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. getting ready to blow away. <laughs> all right, guys, day, all right? that's all we got for you today. Um, thanks for watching. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for the support. And um, we'll see you at the restaurant Monday. Check out the new menu. Don't forget, you can help sponsor the show by going and hitting shop now and going to the items part. And that's how you can help sponsor us. So we can keep the show and move the show moving forward while we're uh, going through all this. So, thank you very much. It's been great. And I got to pick up all this trash. And uh, we'll see you Monday. God bless. Love y'all.